stencil. And the way we're gonna do this next layer is to go back and find where our stencil was. So I'm laying it right on top of what I did before. In the exact in the spot exact that spot. you stenciled. That's right. And then I'm gonna take my stencil and I'm just gonna shift it up to the right and up. Uh, show that once right more. Okay, so, so I'm back where I was. It's lined up perfect right now. That's right, and, and then, then I'm pushing it up just, just so you can see. An eighth of an inch, it looks uh, like? like a, I would say like quarter? a quarter of an inch. Okay. That's it. And, and so, you can see right in here that difference of the dark and the light. Yeah. That's right. Good, so it's easy to see when you shift. That's right, so now I'm going to take some product, which I... We'll explain what's in this product. Okay. First, we, we've mixed together two of the Modern Masters metallic paints, um, Shimmering Sky and Platinum, which are gorgeous colors on their own. But Beautiful mixed together, colors. they make this, this kind of blue silver, which I, I love. I love that color. And then I've added in some of the Crystal Gel, which gives it some dimension. And the Crystal Gel looks like this when it comes out of the... So it's, it, it definitely has a viscosity to it, much it has, heavier than just normal paint. That's right. So it gives it sort of a pasty feel. Okay. Um, the more you use of it, the more um, texture you're going to have. Okay. And if you went up and felt the wall with your hand, You'd you would feel a, you would slight feel edge. a raised edge, which okay. is sort of nice. So this is already mixed up, and I'm going to start by stenciling, and I'm going to take... I, I, you could use another paper plate here. I'm just going to offload it a little bit on the I rack. usually use a rag or a paper towel when I do it myself on the job. But what I'm going to do is, as, um, as I stencil, I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to add in some of this glitter. Ah. So this... Crystal gel is acting as well as a binder. So I'm going to go in and hit just like I did before with the pouncing motion. Same heavy concentration of material. That's right. Not, not too much that it's going to seep. And then you can either mix these together or you can mix them right on your brush. I, I tend to just take my brush and dip it in. Now, don't worry. Yeah, I see you kind of blended the two together I there. blended the two, okay. so I have some. And I'm just going back in and hitting it so that you get a little bit of that shimmer. And it right. will stick because of the crystal gel. Okay. So don't worry that you have the glitter now on your brush. Yeah, I was going to say, am I it, supposed to clean the brush? No, because okay. it, it, you want to have the glitter in there. So ah. as you're going along, it's okay that it's there. It really doesn't show on the surface, though, unless you go back in and you add it in. So, oh, so I just that's love it. the addition of that glitter. That's it just it. makes this design so fresh and contemporary. It's beautiful. And so that is gorgeous. I'm not going to peel it off yet. I just want to explain that again. You would use the same registrations. Once you've done this one time, you've shifted it. Yes. You can use the registrations of the new blue color to see where it's going. So Great you really don't tip. have to think about the shifting Great every time tip. you do it. It's great. So you just do you do your shifting, you finish this layer, then you come back in with your topper and this what your result is gorgeous. That is so. such a beautiful fit.